trust him, it, I'm going with B, John LeCar. Final answer. Well, what a great lifeline you got there. You want to sort of million dollars. The winner, Connie Stoltz. Okay, he said what I was thinking, Italy. So I will... I will say Italy, final answer. He was right. the Friday night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You know, we started this bonus business at the beginning of January. 61 people have sat in that seat since then. Five contestants have seen the half-million dollar question, but nothing has been like the cliffhanger we had last night. Connie Stoltz won $250,000, but then time ran out, leaving us on pins and needles all night. She's playing for the biggest cash prize in game show history. $1,940,000 and she has one lifeline left. She can ask the audience. No pressure, don't, don't go right. <laughs> and she just has two questions left to make all that money. So, I know you were a little bit nervous last night. How do you feel tonight? Uh, much better. Good. Much, much better. Last I... night we had all kinds of symptoms, right? We had shivers, we felt <laughs> no, nauseous, yeah. we were... But tonight it's a new Connie Stone. That's right. That's Connie, right. two questions. Two questions. Yeah. $1,940,000. Yeah. <laughs> so you're from Sycamore, Illinois, which is a small town outside of Chicago. Right. And you live alone. Yeah. You're a single lady, but you've got three cats. Yes. Do they have any idea where you are tonight? I don't think so. <laughs> they're probably hating me because they're at the vet. Because you're not there to give them their, their dinner. Tell me about your education again. Um, I have a bachelor's degree from Northern Illinois University in DeKalb, which is like five miles from where I live. I didn't get very far away. Have you lived in the same area your whole life? Uh, well, I grew up in Wisconsin, but yeah, mm -hmm. since college okay. I've lived there. And did you take a, a year or two of law school? No, no. I, um, a few years ago I just wanted to see if I was still smart, so I took the LSAT just for the heck of it, and I did really well, and I started getting recruited by all these law schools. And um, I even went so far as, you know, filling out applications and stuff, and all of a sudden I realized when I got done with law school I'd be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you get through with law school. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I, I decided to take a pass on that. <laughs> and you're still accompanied by your uh, your aunt, Suzanne. Nice to see you, Suzanne. You must be quite excited too, huh? Very. What What do you talk about with Connie after last night? You know, be, and before tonight. Uh, it's not real. It's a deep dream. We'll wake up and we had this big dream. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You You still can't believe it, can you? No. I can't. But it's real. You're here. And you're going to go for all the bucks in just a minute here. If you want to play along with Connie, go to ABC.com right now and click on to our Enhanced TV game. You can have a lot of fun. Now, Connie has won $250,000. She's just two questions away from the $1 million level. You have one lifeline left, Connie, to, re to remind you you can ask the audience. Remember, Connie, if you go all the way tonight, you'll win $1,940,000. Two questions, Connie, we can do it. Ready to play? I guess. Audience, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Connie Stokes. Now, here it is for $500,000. What 19th century novel was originally published under the pseudonym Cora Bell? Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, Pride and Prejudice, Middle March. Okay, Kerr Bell is one of the Brontes. I believe it was Charlotte. You know, Anne published under the name Acton Bell. Now, if I can just remember which one wrote Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. I 
Now let's ask the audience. You want to use your... The wonderful, smart, intelligent audience, yeah. All right, audience, you heard it. We need your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. All right, 52% are calling it Wuthering Heights, and 25% say Jane Eyre, and those are the two major vote getters. Just to remind you, Connie, if you miss here, you lose $218,000, go back to $32,000. <laughs> yes, as I recall, Connie wants some new countertops for her kitchen. Yeah. I want new cabinets, too. So. A new cabinet? Now, yeah. wait a minute. I want the whole world. We want a million nine forty. baseball pitchers feel when they stand around the mound. As long as you don't throw the ball, nothing bad will happen. <laughs> I've seen made of these and trying to remember what the credits say based on a novel by and, sure. and I can't see who it's based on a novel by. Take a guess just for the heck of it while we're all. I would say Wuthering Heights. You would have said Wuthering Heights. See, it was Jane Eyre. Oh, thank God. Thank God. $250,000, Connie. Yeah, kiddo, come on down. I thought you did. Thank you. Thank you, friend. All right, good luck. Queen for a day, quarter million dollars. Get a new kitchen, new new counters, new house, whatever she wants. Well, now we have ten people who want to do exactly what Connie just did, and they are Tom Kovar, Florence, Massachusetts; Dick Duckett, Arlington, Massachusetts; Arthur O'Leary, Walpole, Massachusetts; Jackie Dupre, Cardina, California; William Hurd, Germantown, Tennessee. Josh Bornstein, Santa Monica, California. Janice White, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Helga Torriello, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michael Baboni, Delray Beach, Florida. Cody D'Alessandro, Southampton, Sister. Okay, everybody, congratulations on getting this far. Now keep your eyes on your own monitors because here comes tonight's first, fastest finger question. Put these TV talk show hosts in order of their birth, starting with the earliest. Jay Leno, Star Jones, Jerry Springer, Ricky Lake. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest host, Jerry Springer, then Jay Leno, Star Jones, 
Ricky Lake, that's the right order. Who got it? In the fastest time, only two. The winner is Tony Delacastro. Tony, congratulations. Good for you. We're going to go all the way tonight, right? Tony wants a shot at it. We'll be right back. Tony Delisandro from Southampton, New Jersey. That's near Philadelphia. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You've been to our show before. In fact, you were in the audience one night. A fellow won a million dollars. Yes, he did. That was quite a quite a thrill. That was um, was it Goodman? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Goodman, right? So, what do you do, Tony? Uh, I'm a software engineer, and I'm also a college instructor. That's great. And you're accompanied by your younger brother, Mark. Nice to see you, Mark. What do you do? Uh, I own my own trailer manufacturing company. Makes his own trailers. Yeah. Yeah, good. There used to be an old baseball player by the name of Dominic D'Alessandro. Remember him? I have, I've seen his name in the baseball encyclopedia. Yeah, he played sure. for the Chicago Cubs. Chicago Club. Cubs, right, yeah. All right, so um, glad to have you here. You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. You know how much you're playing for. It's a lot of money. So let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Let's win this one for Dominic D'Alessandro, okay? okay? Here you go, Tony, for $100. Check it out. If you are being honored, it is said you have received a feather in your what? Boa, cap, blender, nose. Receiving a feather in your cap, B. Well, that's my final answer. And it's the right answer for $100. Feather in your cap. $200. What is normally added to a kite to make it more stable in the air? Springs, paint, tail, jet engine. Uh, C, a tail. Final? Final. That's what you add. You add the tail. <laughs> Makes it more stable. He's up to 300. A book of names and phone numbers of people you have a romantic interest in is commonly called what? A large blue book? little red ledger, a little black book, yellow pages. <laughs> guy like you, Tony. I have one. I have a C, a little black book. That's my final answer. Well, that's your final answer. We want to hear more about the book, though. <laughs> All right, you got $300. Very good. We're going for five right now. A person would most likely adjust the thermostat in response to which of these complaints? I'm freezing. I'm starving. You're speeding. I can't hear you. Thermostats for like a heater, so it would be A, I'm freezing. Final? My final. Yes, I'm freezing. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's up for $1,000. Which of these U.S. cities is situated southeast of Chicago, Illinois? Detroit, Omaha, Houston, Atlanta. East put us in possibly Georgia. Chicago's on Lake Michigan. Atlanta's in Georgia. Southeast. D, Atlanta. That's my final answer. Yes, you got it right. It's uh, Atlanta, Southeast, of Chicago. He's won a thousand dollars. Five pesky questions out of the way. Now we go for two thousand dollars. Take a look. Animals that are herbivores feed mainly on what? Fish, plants, insects, rodents. Uh, herbivores, vegetables, plants. Say B, plants. Final? Yes. Final. That's what they eat. Plants. Herbivores. Tony, going for $4,000, which of these ingredients normally dissolves in water? Sugar, flour, tea leaves, coffee beans. Sugar, sugar, sugar dissolves. Sugar definitely dissolves. Coffee beans wouldn't, tea leaves, flour wouldn't. Hey, sugar, that's my final answer. Got it for $4,000.
He's up to 8,000. In the 1983 movie, Trading Places, Eddie Murphy's character trades places with a character played by whom? Bruce Willis, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Steve Martin. It was filmed in Philadelphia. Uh, the answer is B, Dan Aykroyd. That's my final answer. That's exactly right. In Philly, I was Dan Aykroyd. Tony, we're seven away from $1,940,000. <laughs> Here it is for 16 grand. In the 1970s, a popular fad centered on the belief that which shape could channel energy and heal? Cylinder, cube, wave, pyramid. Uh, let me ask the audience. All right, good idea. Audience, we need a little help for Tony. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, nearly 60% call it pyramid. Okay. Everybody else came out about the same. I don't know how you could have a wave. Uh, a cube would be a Rubik's cube. I'm going to trust the audience to go with D. That'll be my final answer. They were right for 16,000. It's a pyramid. They're going to take a break for me. The back was going for 32,000. Eight hundred eight seven eight forty thirty. If the line is busy, please keep trying. in the hot seat. He's a software engineer by day and college instructor by night at uh, Rutgers University in Camden. All right, so uh, trivia is a big part of your life, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be. Two uh, nights a week you go to a, to a particular bar that specializes in trivia? Yeah, they have I can't believe that bars are now becoming trivia havens. Yes, yes. Yeah. What's happening to America? Oh, uh, you are happening to America, <laughs> your I show. Guess. <laughs> I guess, so how does it work? You have different teams? Yeah, yeah, I have a, you know, a collection of friends, and we're a team, and we play two nights a week. Um, and the bartender is like Regis? No, well, he's not like Regis. Uh, he, he runs the game. He, he runs it. It's a different type of format. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ten questions per round, uh -huh. and we can collaborate on the questions. And what's you know, the big the prize if you win? Uh, $50 off your uh, food bill. No kidding. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Now let's get serious. Okay. What about this little black book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there such a little black book? There is such oh, a little black book. There is. The Delisandro guy, loose. <laughs> Single man, huh? Single man. Never got married. No. Close? Not, nope. Not yet. Well, in a few more bucks, you'll be close. <laughs> you're going for 32,000 right now. You know, you've got two lifelines left with six away from $1,940,000, Tony. Let's play. Here we go. $32,000. What member of the Kennedy family founded the Special Olympics? Was it Eunice Shriver, Ethel Kennedy, Caroline Schlossberg, Victoria Lawford? Yes. Um. Kennedy is Bobby's wife. Miss Shriver married, was married to Sergeant Shriver. Caroline is JFK's daughter. And Victoria Lawford would be Peter Lawford's wife. Okay. Um, I, like to, I like to use the 50 50. 50 50? Yeah, 50 Take it down by two computer. Eunice Shriver, Ethel Kennedy. Shriver's ringing a bell. Sergeant Shriver was the head of the Peace Corps. I'm going to go A, Eunice Shriver. Final? Yes. Eunice Shriver. The right answer for $32,000. All right, can't leave here with less than 
that has a good feeling. Here, it, here we are now for $64,000. Which of these celebrities stars as an animated character in the current Saturday morning cartoon series? Will Smith, Rosie O'Donnell, Jackie Chan, Queen Latifah. use a phone for you. Yeah, got somebody who watches uh, TV on Saturday uh, morning? I, I know someone who has has children, has kids. Well, know. you want to talk to the kids or do you want to talk? <laughs> well, I would like to talk to, to the father. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to call Pat. Pat, he's the man we want? Yes, he is. All right, AT&T, we need Pat on the line right now. Hello. Hello, Pat. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from ABC's The Wants to Be a Millionaire. How are you? All right, Regis, how are you? Good, I'm here with Tony, and uh, he's hung up on a question and looking to you for a little help. I hope I can give it. Going to $64,000. Okay. Okay. So in a moment he'll come on. I'll ask the question, give you the answers, and see which one do you think is the right one. All right. All right. You got 30 seconds, uh, Tony, starting right now. Which of these celebrity stars has an animated character in a current Saturday morning cartoon series? Will Smith, Rosie O'Donnell, Jackie Chan, Queen Latifah. Which of these is currently on, uh, currently on an animated series? Will Smith. Again. Rosie O'Donnell, Rosie Jackie o. Chan, Queen Latifah, nine seconds. Chan, Latifah. I, oh, Tony, I'm sorry. I, I really don't know. I was, Will Smith is... Will Smith was... I told you to call the kids. You should have called the kids. <laughs> uh, wow. Well... This is a free shot. Yeah, you got to get yeah. it. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go with Rosie O'Donnell. Want to make it Rosie? Yeah, let's make it a Rosie final B. answer. No, it was Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. But look, $32,000. Tony D'Alessandro. Tony, thanks very much. Good luck to you. Say hello to all the guys down there at Philly. Well, our good friend Rosie does many, many things, but she does not have a Saturday morning cartoon. But hey, $32,000, a lot of money for about 10 minutes' work. So good luck to Tony and his little black book. <laughs> now that hot seat's getting cold, so here's the next fastest finger question. With these major European cities in geographical order, starting in the north. Helsinki, Lisbon, Amsterdam, Venice. All right, we're all set back here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the north. And it is Helsinki, followed by Amsterdam, going south, Venice, finally Lisbon. That's the right order. Let's see who did it. The fastest time, Helga Coriello. Helga, Helga, congratulations. Helga, gonna go for all that money when we come back. Helga Coriello from Grand Rapids, Michigan, in the hot seat right now, and quite a lady she is, too. Married 23 years, has uh, two children, Allison and Krista, and uh, is a g geneticist, yeah. medical geneticist. Yes, that's right. Wow, so hot in the news these days. Oh, genetics. absolutely. Really, everything has co-written a book on genetics, planning to do another one soon, married to a hand surgeon. He is working tonight, so couldn't be here, so you're accompanied by your mother, Aina who has uh, just been hired by a chromosome lab at the age of 75. And so, uh, you know, I guess there really is something to genetics, because obviously yeah. you're a living example of it. Absolutely. And it all started with Aina. How you doing, Aina? Aina. 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 <laughs> you are Helga. You are Aina. <laughs> I am stupid. <laughs> It's all genetics, Ina. It's all genetics. 
But a high end at 75, now that's terrific. Uh, I worked before, for many, many years, even the, inside the genetics. At the same place? Yes. Oh, I see. All right, fine. But there's a lot to talk about with Helga. But anyway, we should get started. Helga, okay. good luck to you, okay? You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. You know how much money you're playing for. So let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Helga Corriello. $100. When you clearly declare your intentions, it is said you lay your what on the table? Feet, cards, napkin, false teeth. Beat cards. That's it. Lay your cards on the table. $200. Which of the following items would most effectively get sand out of a carpet? A plunger, mop, Vacuum cleaner, hacksaw. You haven't seen my carpet. Ah, uh, see, vacuum cleaner, final. Right, vacuum cleaner, 200. <laughs> Going for $300. During what part of the day does a person experience the dawn? Sunrise, afternoon, midnight, dish cleaning time? The answer is A, sunrise. That's exactly final. right. Final answer is sunrise. That's when you see the dawn. Going for $500. On a bicycle, the spokes are part of what? Handlebars, brakes, wheels, seat. C, wheel, final. Got it for $500. She's up to $1,000. An ancient military machine designed to hurl large objects is called what? Crossbow. Lariat, Bolo, Catapult. D, Catapult, final. Yes, ma'am, for $1,000. One third of the way home, Helga, here it is for $2,000. In what Olympic event would a competitor attempt a Hamel Camel? Diving? Figure skating, gymnastics, ski jumping. B, figure skating, final. Right for $2,000. $4,000. Which of these movie characters travels through time on a quest to get his mojo back from Dr. Evil? Austin Powers, Dick Tracy, Roger Rabbit. Ace Ventura. B, C, and D don't make any sense. But I haven't seen the Austin Powers movies. But Dr. Evil sounds like Austin Powers. Let me um, poll the audience. All right, audience, we need some help here. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Thank you, yeah. A, Austin Powers, final. Right, $4,000. Austin Powers. We're gonna take a break. She'll be back, she's going for 8,000 in a moment. Geneticist in the hot seat now, brilliant woman named Helga Tomoriello from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And boy, she accomplished a lot. And even played ice hockey at college up at uh, Cornell University. That's right. When women's ice hockey was really not that well known in this country. Oh, that's true. There were like two schools, I think, at the mm -hmm. time you were playing. Mm -hmm. Cornell and... Uh, Brown. And Brown. And you got tired of playing each other, you went to Canada. Oh, we got killed in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've been playing it a long time. Mm -hmm. Were you pretty good? Uh, not anymore. But you were at one yeah, time. I imagine much. you're a pretty good. accomplished woman, regardless of what you try. However, I'm told your golf game could use a little work. Oh, yes. If, for as much as my husband and I play, we are really awful. Yeah. Play a lot, do you? Yes. And what's like? What, what's a typical score? Uh, 95. That's not too bad. <laughs> for the first three holes, is up bad no, at all? I know. What do you want? If I avoid the win windmills, I'm doing just fine. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't quit. You keep playing, right? Yes. And you go play on all the finest golf courses in the country. We try. Yeah, good for you. 
All right, here's where we stand. She's won 4,000. We're going for 8,000. She's eight away from 1,940,000. Wouldn't that be great, Helga? Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Let's play. $8,000. Arlington National Cemetery is located in what U.S. state? Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, Pennsylvania. Arlington, Virginia, C. Final answer. Got it for $8,000. $16,000, Helga. Which of the following articles of clothing is most often made from neoprene? Wetsuit? Sports jacket, socks, hard hat. It's A, wetsuit, final. Got that one too for the $2,000. My golf clothes. My golf clothes. Neoprene synthetic rubber. All right, here it is, $32,000. You must get this. A dark natural glass formed by quickly cooling volcanic lava is called what? Obsidian, granite, Quartz, shale. It's, it's A, obsidian. Final. Yes, for $32,000. Boy, you're smart. You really are. You're five away, Helga. Five away from all the free golf lessons you can handle. And, and balls. <laughs> $64,000. Take a look. North Korea and South Korea are divided by what line of latitude? 54th parallel, 38th parallel, 29th parallel, 15th parallel. It's B, 38th parallel, final. Yes, for 64 parallel. <laughs> Crowd sensing a kill here. We're getting closer and closer. Four questions away, two lifelines left. Here it is for $125,000. Which of the following novels was not originally published in serial form? The Green Mile, Oliver Twist, The Bonfire of the Vanities, Valley of the Dolls. Take away two of those wrong answers. Not originally published in serial form. Green Mile or Valley of the Dolls. Shoot, I think I know this, but the originally is what's getting me. So I could have sworn the Green Mile was. It was published in serial form. Let's use the lifeline. Got your last one. Yeah, I know. Who do you want to call? Dean. No, wait a minute. Did you say you want to you want to go for it? Yeah, I want to call my husband. Dean. Oh, you want to call your husband, D? Dean. Dean. I thought you were going for number D. No. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay, Ida. <laughs> we're calling D, right? D. D. All right, AT&T, we want D on the line. I'll get it straight. I don't care. Hello, D. Yes? Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm here with Helga. How's she doing? She's doing terrific. I, I think the world of us, she's won 64000 going for 125000 Wonderful, thank and you. I and I'm knocked out by all that you and, and Harren and your family has accomplished. Well, thank you very much. And incidentally, just between us, D, I met your mother-in-law. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that, you know, that averages things out. <laughs> You can deal with her at home <laughs> about that later on. No, she's a wonderful lady. We're having a great time with all of you. But look, we've reached an impasse here. Very, very important you come up with the answer, okay? All righty. All right. In the moment, she's going to give you the question and two possible answers. One of them's the right answer. Thank Olga, you. 30 seconds right now. Which of the following novels was not originally novels published not in serial original, form? Published in serial form. The Green Mile? Mile. Or Valley of the Dolls. Valley of the Dolls. Originally not published in serial form. Green Mile or Valley of the Dolls. 
hello, value of the dolls, 100%. Okay, thank you. Have a good time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, go with D, D, value of the dolls. Boy, Final he answer. He better be right. And he is for $125,000. We'll take a break. We'll come back in a moment. She's going for a quarter million. <laughs> Elgatoriello from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Big crowd favorite here. She's a geneticist, and uh, and incidentally, you know, it does it does run in families. Uh, two daughters. Uh, uh, Krista is studying microbiology, and Allison is studying uh, uh, forensics. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody's very accomplished. In it. And, I, and I loved your husband. <laughs> he's a he's a real character, isn't he? He's a character, yeah. <laughs> How does he get along with Ina? Um, a peaceful détente. Détente. <laughs> That's the right word, détente. <laughs> well, here's where you are. The lifelines are all gone now, mm -hmm. but we're just three questions away from winning one million. $940,000. Let's take a look at the question now for $250,000. let us play. Okay, Elka, here it is. What bird is the official state bird of seven different U.S. states? Robin, a bluebird, a cardinal, meadowlark. Yeah. I'm clueless. Not into birds, huh? No, I'm gonna... Well, you'd lose 93,000 if you guessed no, it. No, I'm no. walking. Gotta go with 125,000. Absolutely. Well, you would Final. just... Why don't you take a guess right now? Uh, I'd go Robin, our state bird. Robin would have been wrong. No, Cardinal would yeah. have been right. It's okay. $125,000, Thank you very much. Good luck to you, kiddo. woman, but you can't know everything. I don't care how good your genes are. Okay, we're running out of time now, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these number one billboard duets in the order they were first released, starting with the earliest. A whole new world. I got you, babe. Say, say, say. The boy is mine. Hey everybody, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order now. Starting with the earliest uh, song, I got you, babe. Say, say, say. A whole new world. The boy is mine. That's the right order. Only one winner, Arthur O'Leary. Arthur O'Leary from Walpole, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. What do you do? Yes, sir. I'm sales. Salesman? Yes, sir. All right, good enough. Arthur, we're almost out of time, so let's get as many in as we can, all right? You know about the rules, you know about the lifeline, you know which one you're playing for. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Arthur O'Leary. $100 question. A person normally has a nightmare while doing what, Arthur? Jogging, sleeping, voting, Eating liver. <laughs> uh, beef, final answer. You got it for $100. $200 coming up right now. In the United States, what does the FDA regulate? Finance and diplomacy, fathers and daughters, food and drugs, Flemish dancing. <laughs> uh, see, food and drugs. Yes, sir, for $200, food and drugs. All right, they're going for $300. How many eyepieces does a standard pair of binoculars have? One, two, three, none of your business. Uh, that'd be two, the oh. final. Yes, two, you got it, $300, good. Up to 500, what is the specific term for a person who serves customers in parked cars at a drive-in restaurant? Car hop, floor walker, runabout, Porter. That'd be A, car hop, final. Got it for 500. Here it is for $1,000. 
By definition, if you are subpoenaed, where must you appear? Stockholders meeting, late night program, college exam room, court. Uh, that'd be D, court, finally. Yeah, you better be court for $1,000. sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Arthur will be back here Sunday night when we begin a week of tax-free shows. Yeah, that's right. Not only will we pay Arthur his prize money, but with the help of our friends at H&R Block, you'll also receive money to cover his taxes on those winnings. And joining him will be 10 people from all over the country. And they are Tony Bradley, John Booth, Susan Fisher, Steve Flynn, Jory Kilstra, Ralph Meisner, Daryl Dawson, Rob Weidner, Gail Graham, and Chuck Coleman.